I wanted to talk about batteries. I know I did a video on batteries before, and the video is basically talking about the batteries you have either in your car or on a backup standby generator, emergency generator for your building, for your home, whichever. But if we look at the battery, we know that it kind of looks like this from the top. You're going to have a connection here, connection here. This will be your negative, and this is going to be your positive. We said that this is going to have six cells in it, and each cell should have 2.1 volts. So when we multiply 6 times 2.1, we know that if we should have 12.6 volts. That's for a fully charged battery. But what happens sometimes, you get this thing that they call a parasitic drainage. A parasitic drain, what it is, is it's just sucking the power out of it. It is allowing the electrons to go from negative to positive because that's what electrons want to do. They want to go from negative to positive. One of the things that you could do is you could take your meter and go from either the negative to the casing or the positive to the casing. And if you get a reading, then that's where your parasitic drain is. It may sound crazy because the battery is plastic. So why or how could this happen? Well, you get leakage of the, of the fluid that's inside onto the casing. When that happens, you're going to see that it's kind of wet. It's kind of dirty. So when you see that, you can just check across there. And if you get a reading, you know that that's where your problem is. Now, the other day I tested a battery and I just happened to have the same issue. So let's take a look at this video. When checking a voltage on the battery, we want to make sure that we go across the two terminals like this. If the battery is fully charged, the battery should read 12.6 volts. As we see here, we see that it is reading 13.2 volts. The reason it's doing that is because it has been on a charger and it is holding what they call a surface charge. The other thing I wanted to show you is that it is very important to check for what they call a parasitic drainage. If we go from the terminal here to the casing, the casing is made out of plastic. We're going straight to the casing. Because of this, we see that we're reading 6.9 volts on there. That tells me that this battery is losing some voltage constantly going straight to ground. We should not get anything. If, my, if I move this to a different location, we see that we're getting zero volts right here. We're not getting any voltage because I'm going to a different location. When I come back to that same place, then we see that we are reading 7.6 volts, 7.4, 7.3. So we're losing that much voltage through the battery constantly. On this other side, if I check from here, from the negative to the casing, like I am doing here, on this side I am losing 1.4 volts. So this is a very, very important check because like in this check right now, I'm going to the casing and I am getting zero. This is what you should be getting. But anytime you get a voltage going to the casing, you're constantly losing power. So you want to check the negative and you also want to check the positive going to the casing. This way you can be sure that you don't have any parasitic drainages. What can you do about this? With this you can put some baking soda on here, mixture of baking soda and water. Put it on here and then you can just wash it right off. You take some water, just wash it off, make sure you get all of that baking soda off of there. But that is one other way that you want to check your batteries to make sure that you're not, you don't have any parasitic drainages. As you can see in that video, 
yes, you could see that we had voltage going from the connection to the casing, even though the casing is plastic. So we're losing voltage right there. It's constantly draining the power out of the battery or allowing, in other words, allowing the electrons to go from negative to positive. And we don't want that because that will neutralize, that will drain your battery and your battery's not gonna be good anymore. So what are you gonna do about this? Well, the easiest thing to do is to mix up a mixture of baking soda with some water. You mix it up really, really well and you're gonna put it all over the battery. Now, you might have the two plugs here where you would actually check and add water to the battery. Some batteries have, some don't, or some is gonna be covered up by a sticker. But regardless, what I'm trying to get to, what I'm trying to tell you is that that mixture of baking soda and water, you don't want it going into the battery. So don't take the plugs out, leave them in there. You take that mixture, put it on the battery, and you scrub it real well. Make sure that you get it everywhere and you know you wash it off and then you pour water on it and rinse it all out. Make sure that it's all nice and clean. You can even dry it off real quick, you know, just get as much of the water off there as possible. Put your connections back and you can test it again and you're not gonna get a reading. That's how you would want to clean it. That's how you wanna test another test you can do on your batteries. And again, that will show you if you have a parasitic drain. I hope this helped and this, remember this because this will help you keep your generators going. So your generator, your backup generator at work will start up every time. And remember, you're supposed to have 12.6 volts on that battery. I hope this helped. My name is Julio from Aircon Academy. Please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you have any suggestions for videos, please send them to me and I will see what I can do about getting them on the air for you. Okay, thank you.